Hi guys, um, so I was doing an online course recently and they had this amazing piece of music um, during the, the Q&A section. So I found it and um, it's a song called Departure by uh, Vesky. So if I can, I will put it in the comments below or in the, the description below to give you a link to that song. Um, so I created this dance, uh, very basic, it's quite repetitive. But um, again, it's part of my, my small space dance collection. Um, okay, so what we need for it first is to just, it's almost like a little bit of a warm up exercise. So we start off with a head roll round to the right first. So drop your chin forward. And always remember with head rolls that not to go too far back. And this is nice and slow. You get a full eight counts to go to the right and a full eight counts to go all the way to the left. Okay, the next part of the intro is just gonna be progressive arm shoulders. So this is almost like just the transference of the weight is moving, so your shoulders along with the transference of weight from right to left just moves you. So you've got right and left and right, and you can gradually lift those elbows up higher and higher, and then we're gonna finish with a full arm circle, and then you repeat to the left. Right, left, right, left, right full arm circle and then we have that one. see that door that just keeps on opening I can't get that to shut okay so then we uh, we're going to walk around in a figure of eight so um this takes 12 counts so eight counts plus four more so we're going to go around to the right you're going to walk one two three four five six cross over to the left around two three Four, ball change over, left over right, and turn all the way around. Now, as you come around from that ball change, from low to high, you're gonna take a throw. And remember, a throw comes from the elbows and arms all the way up. And then slowly, over eight counts, you're just gonna let your hands fall all the way down. I always think this feels really funny in the hands because you have to move so slowly you can really, really feel like all the pulse in your hand coming all the way down. You can take your eye line with you and then you get a full eight count to so just breathe and lift up. And that's really your chance again to connect into the music and connect into your breath. The breath is going to be so important in this dance because the whole dance is fueled by the breath, the breathing in and the breathing out. So hopefully as you do this, you'll really, really use your breath to, um, to expand the movement as well. Okay, so what was that first of all? So first of all, we had your head roll to the right, a can't head roll to the left, sh progressive shoulders with an arm, progressive shoulders with an arm, figure of eight walk all the way round, there's the door open again, figure of eight walk all the way round into your ball change, throw, soft arms all the way down, and then you'll bring your head up. Okay, cool. So that is the introduction. Shall we try that together first? Here we go. All right. Okay, so that's your head roll. Five, six, seven, to the left. again um, and then the chorus again so this is what I call the main part of the dance so I'm calling it the chorus right so what we're going to do is we're going to go to a windmill to the right now again because you're breathing in and then breathe out just throw those arms so there's no placement in this it's literally once you invert that knee and drop it down it's wherever those arms end up so really big lift and throw and you want two points here highest point where your rib cage is fully expanded because you're full of air <sighs> lowest point and if this 
is quite small for you to begin with. I want you, as the more times you do it, to really increase that bend so that your knee is almost on the floor, but never actually on the floor. You don't want to bruise that knee. So we have windmill to the right, to the left, to the right, to the left, ready. And to the right, to the left, to the right. Breathe in, breathe out. And then you're going to do these um, figure of eight arms as you rock forwards and backwards. So all I'm doing here, again, it's very relaxed. There's not a lot of placement in this, in this piece. It's just very, very relaxed because I really want you to get into the feeling of how your body moves. So it curls over, back. Again, if you have a very flexible back, you might really contract. If that doesn't feel good for you, then you don't do it. It's whatever you feel. So we're gonna go forward, back, forward, come to center, and then forward, back, forward, come to center. And then we do it all again, windmill, 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 breathe in, breathe out, and to the left, center, to the right, and center. Now the next bit is just a little transference of weight with an extension. So you're just going, you're just going, doom, doom, pow. And I like to think of this like those speed skaters. Okay, ready, and right, left, left, right, right, left, left, right, all right. So you're just taking the foot, and again, I haven't done a great point behind me. If you do really want to take that into a placement, please do, but I just love the freedom and the breath of this piece. And it just really, really gets the whole torso moving, so we're really concentrating on releasing the rib cage. So quite often our pieces can be quite isolation, and we want to just, or isolated, and we really just want to use this time to just breathe it out. Okay, so you've got your shoulders, and shoulders transfer, shoulders transfer, ta, 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 and five of them, six of them, seven of them, eight of them, and then the final piece for this is just a little bounce and out. So as you go bounce out to the side, in, bounce out to the side, in, same thing with the reverse fourth, and then arms on the last one. So you've got right foot in, bend left foot in, reverse the dip out with the arms, and salsa, and salsa, reverse the dig and with the arms. Okay, I nearly fell over. Okay, one more time, ready? And salsa, out. Reverse the dig and then the arms. Okay, and then you just got the figure of eight walk again. Round you go, figure of eight walk. Round you go, all the way into your turn, into your arms. They come down again and then back into your windmill again. And then at the very, very end, you've got your walk one more time and then you finish it. Okay, so if any part of that was unclear, just scroll back and, um, and go over it again. Otherwise, we're going to do it from, uh, from the start. So here we go. Okay, ready, head roll. Thank you. 
It's just a really, really nice exercise to get into your body, get the whole body moving in a very, very minute sort of way, in contrast to the biggest way that you possibly can. Even stretch those fingers nice and wide. So see as you do that exercise, can you find something new about it each time? Can you do a move a much bigger? Can you do the move a little bit smaller? Can you use just the breath to move your movement? So I think this is really, really important just to balance out all our different technical aspects we have and really get into the breath, into the body, and of course, into the music. Okay, enjoy it. <laughs> 